Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And now we're going to talk about the description of the lights in the Entered Apprentice degree as it's given here. Uh, now in other locations you may hear, hear these termed as the lesser lights. Here it is described as the lights of a lodge are three and are situated in the east, west, and south. There are none in the north because King Solomon's temple was situated so far north of the ecliptic that neither the sun nor moon at meridian height could dart any rays into the northerly part thereof. The north, therefore, is masonically termed a place of darkness. Now, symbolically, we're talking about, uh, we're explaining to the newly made brother uh, the, the three lights that he actually saw burning during his degree. Uh, sometimes burning means a lamp that is turned on. Sometimes it might be an actual candle. Uh, but you'll see them uh, in the lodge like this, and you might want to need to explain to somebody why they were situated that way. So. Uh, I think that the reason this is part of the ritual, and I don't know that we have any written documentation that says why this was a part of the ritual, but lodges are all over the world, yet we're trying to symbolically represent King Solomon's temple. And so one way we might do that is display these lights and purposefully not have one in the north to show that if this were King Solomon's temple, that is where darkness would be. Obviously, this symbolism makes no sense to a physical lodge located near the equator or south of the equator, because we might get some light into the north parts thereof. Even where I am in Mississippi, you get a point where the sun rises and the sun sets just a little bit north of a 180 degree horizon if you look at it on a chart like this. So you can get sun directly on the north side of my house, but at meridian height, which is what we're specifically talking about here, when the sun or the moon is at its highest peak in the sky, no sun would be able to put light onto the north of my house. Uh, it just doesn't happen. So uh, we're here representing that by illuminating, having a light in the east, in the west, and in the south, but not in the north. Now, I like to think a little bit more. What else could I try to learn from this? And to me, it kind of speaks to something else, that, that no matter how much we try, uh, we, we try to spread light. There's always something that's dark. Now, you can try to parse that out even further. You could say that in the sense of light being knowledge, that that always means there's something you don't know. There's always something else to be discovered. And so you can try to strive towards that. You can try to keep spreading that light into the darkness. Uh, it could also uh, be viewed as something akin to uh, the mosaic pavement we talked about before. How, no matter how good you are, there's always a darkness to be battled against. Uh, there's always something there that you have to subdue. Uh, there's always something that you can improve upon. So uh, that's a couple different ways that I like to think about this. Uh, if you have specific instruction that's taught to you uh, or anything that you would like to share about how you view these three lights that are displayed in a lodge, then please make sure you share it down in the comments below, just like always. It's very interesting uh, to hear from each of you about whether or not this is, in, is taught in your lodge at all, uh, whether it's simply phrased a little bit differently, or whether you have greater insight because of material that I have never been exposed to. So uh, there we are. Uh, I will also tell you, uh, for those who uh, maybe don't experience experience this where they are or for our friends that are watching who are interested in potentially becoming Masons, uh, you will sometimes, uh, at least in my area, see this used as a bit of a joke. Uh, so we talked a bit before about how the lodge is formed east to west, north and south. So there is a side of the lodge that is the north and it has seating. 
uh, so people can sit there and uh, and sometimes if a if a brother comes into the lodge and uh, he either wants to just be silly or if he has no interest whatsoever in being asked to do any kind of work he'll go sit in the north uh, and he'll uh, joke and say you can't see me I'm over here in the dark you don't know I'm actually here uh, or make a joke about how he doesn't know the work because he's in the dark as in the sense that he doesn't have the knowledge of it and so uh, sometimes we use it uh, with a little bit of fun as well and to add a bit of a uh, um I don't know, just add a bit of fun to things. So uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. And next time we come back, I will get you back on track. I promised you we were going to be talking about jewels, and those are next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.